10 African countries with the highest Muslim population. Welcome to Africa Reloaded, Africa's best destination on insight into Africa's development and future. Behind Christianity, Islam is the second most popular religion on the continent. At the beginning of the 7th century, Islam first expanded from Southwest Asia to Africa. Africa is home to around one-third of the world's Muslims. During the Hijra to the Christian Kingdom of Aksum, Muslims traveled via modern-day Djibouti and Somalia in search of safety in Eritrea and Ethiopia. Most Muslims in Africa are Sunni Muslims, like the vast majority, 90% of Muslims worldwide. The diversity of Islam in Africa is seen in the numerous schools of thought, traditions, and voices in many African countries. The majority of North, West, and East African ethnic groups, as well as many others, regard Islam as their traditional religion. The predominant social, economic, and political circumstances on the continent are continually reshaping how Islam is practiced. Africa's own orthodoxies were formed as a result of Islam's frequent adaptation to the continent's cultural contexts and belief systems. Due to high birth rates in sub-Saharan Africa, which is predominantly Christian, the percentage of Muslims in Africa has somewhat fallen since 2002, when it was believed that they made up 40% of the continent's population. With small immigrant populations in South Africa, Islam is the predominant religion in North Africa, the Horn of Africa, the Sahel, the Swahili Coast, and West Africa. Hello there, welcome to another episode on our channel. In today's video, we will be taking a look at 10 African countries with the highest number of Muslim population. Join me, James, your host, so we can make this discovery together. 10. Senegal Muslims make up 94% of the population of Senegal, and the majority of them adhere to Sunni Islam, primarily the Maliki school of thought with Sufi influences. Senegal has been home to Muslims since the 11th century. Sufi brotherhoods rose to popularity during the French occupation as the populace turned to religion instead of colonial rule. The Marides, Tijaniya, Pan-Islamic, Qadiriya, and Lain are the principal Sufi orders. The Sufi brotherhoods that comprise 95% of Senegal's Muslims build mosques, However, individuals are free to visit any mosque of their choosing. 9. Libya In Libya, the Sunni branch of Islam is practiced by 96.6% of the population. Although Islam established itself in urban areas of Libya in the 7th century, nomad conversion was not aided until Bedouin tribe incursions in the 11th century. Native Berber beliefs are a part of the Islam practiced in Libya and other parts of North Africa. Muammar al-Gaddafi, who was particularly fond of traditional Islam, oversaw the reinstatement of Sharia law, a highly symbolic cleansing of mosques, the adoption of modest clothes, and the outlawing of immodest behavior. Shias and Ahmadis make up a tiny proportion of Pakistani immigrants. 8. Sudan According to estimates, 97% of Sudan's population is Muslim. All of the regions, aside from the Nuba Mountains region, are dominated by Muslims. Sufism has had a major influence on the Sunni Islam practiced in Sudan. Khartoum is home to Shia communities. Between Sufi brotherhoods, particularly between Ansar and Katmia, there are significant disagreements. Sufi brotherhoods, which are common in other parts of Sudan, are absent from the Darfur region only. Some of the Muslim-majority ethnic groups of Sudan include the Arabs, Nubians, Bija, Fur, and Zagawa. 7. Comoros The majority of Comoros citizens, who make up 98% of the Muslim population, are Sunnis who adhere to the Shafi school of thought. The majority of Muslims in the Comoros speak Arab Swahili, while there are certain communities with Indian heritage. It is reported that Arab businessmen and exiled Zayedi Persian princesses were among the groups of people who brought Islam to the Comoros. Islam was spread over time by Islamic monarchs in power. The islands are home to hundreds of mosques in addition to many madrasas. Most children attend Quranic school for two or three years, during which time they get a foundational understanding of Arabic and Islam. 6. Tunisia 
All Tunisian public schools teach Islamic religious education, and a religious curriculum for the country's secondary school includes the history of Christianity and Judaism from the Islamic sources and perspective. 98% of Tunisians identify as Muslims, and the Tunisian constitution names the government as the guardian of religion and mandates that the president be a Muslim. 5. Morocco 99% of Moroccans practice Islam, and they are Sunni scholars of the Maliki school. The Uqwa ibn Nafi-led Arab invasion in 680 is credited with bringing Islam to Morocco. Then, for centuries, the area was ruled by strong Islamic rulers. During the Almohad era, minority Muslim sects were persecuted, which gave Sunni Islam the upper hand in the country. King Mohammed VI has been attempting to stop the rise of Salafi Islam by putting a stop to it. 4. Algeria Islam came to Algeria with the Umayyad dynasty following the invasion of Uqwa ibn Nafi. The native Berbers accepted the religion in large numbers, but it was not until the 15th century that the Tuareg finally became Muslims. The discrimination of Muslims by French colonial authorities led to the majority of Algerians becoming Sunni Muslims and adhering to the Maliki school of jurisprudence. 3. Somalia The Islamic faith is practiced by 99.8% of Somalis, who are Sunni Muslims. For more than 1,400 years, Islam has played a significant role in Somali history. Shafi law, Asharia, and Sufism have long dominated Islam in Somalia, although in recent years Salafism has been gaining ground. Mashid al Qiblatain, a mosque that dates back to the Hydra and is located in the city of Zila, was built in the 7th century. Islam flourished throughout Somalia, allowing sultanates and republics like Mogadishu, Hobio, and Mirka to flourish as centers of trade, religion, and commerce. Despite including provisions for religious freedom, the 1961 constitution designated the newly established Somalia as an Islamic state. 2. Mauritania After gaining independence in 1960, Mauritania proclaimed itself the Islamic Republic. Islam is recognized as the official religion and Sharia is established as the supreme law in the 1985 constitutional charter. The founders of Islamic Brotherhoods later joined Muslim craftsmen and traders in bringing Islam to Mauritania. During the time of French colonial rule, the Brotherhoods, specifically Sufism and Tariqa, significantly expanded their influence. Muslims in Mauritania believe in the existence of various smaller spirits that were altered from pre-Islamic beliefs to Islamic spirits. Mauritanian Islam has adopted some ancient beliefs. Almost all of the 99.9% .9 of Mauritanians who identify as Muslim are Sunni Muslims who follow the Maliki Madhab. 1. Nigeria Nigeria has the highest concentration of Muslims in all of Africa and Islam is one of the most popular religions in the nation. 53.5% of Nigeria's population is reportedly Muslim, according to the CIA World Factbook 2018. With a sizable Muslim population present in the south, Islam is predominantly centered in the northern half of the country. While the rest of the nation is governed by secular law, Sharia law is largely enforced in northern Nigeria. Muslims, mostly Sunnis, make up more than half of the population of Nigeria. Approximately 12% of Muslims in Nigeria are Shemites. The largest ethnic groups in Africa are Hausa, 30%, Yoruba, 15%, Igbo, 15%, and Fulani, 6%. According to analysts, Muslims in Africa appear to be engaged in a heated debate over the future of Islam, much as Muslims in Asia, the Middle East, and the rest of the world. Questions concerning how Muslims should practice their faith are at the heart of the conflict. The majority, according to the academics, appears to prefer to stick with the moderate, tolerant path that Islam has always taken. A very small but expanding faction, however, wants to create a more rigid form of the religion, one that governs and informs every area of society. If you found this video intriguing, then don't waste much time, just subscribe to our channel for more exciting adventures.